What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm not going to lie to you. thought I was going to have a nice little Wednesday. I wrote a fluff column on Sean Day that'll be up on Insiders at some point. Wrote a whole thing about why the Bruins need to avoid Matt Martin. thought that was going to be it. Then, boom, we get the uh, Taylor Hall trade, and now this one. This is the unbelievable one. Shea Weber going to Montreal for P.K. Subban. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually a... Uh, real thing. I love Shea Weber, but the fact that he uh, has 10 years left on a $110 million contract, and P.K. Subban has 6 years left on a $72 million contract, and Subban is 4 years younger than uh, Weber, just makes us like, what is Montreal thinking? So now Bergevin is in the mix as worst GM in the NHL. These teams just continue to get dumber and dumber and dumber and dumber. I, I, I don't... Dave Poyle just fleeces teams. It, it's what he does. I mean, Forsberg for Erat. I mean, are you fucking serious? Now, three years later, this. And again, I like Subban a lot. Is he a little... It looks he's a bit. You know what? He's worth it. He's, he's worth his contract. Shea Weber is about to begin the decline of his career. Right now, is he a little bit better than Subban? Yeah. He's the better player of the two. But this just... I, I, I have no words. You know, you look at Subban and Roman Yossi on defense. Ryan Johansson up front. You know, Philip Forsberg just re-signed a really, 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 really team-friendly contract. Dave Poyle is... I like to knock him sometimes because I thought he had he acted like a little bitch after the Jimmy Vesey thing. But the guy can wheel and deal. Now, you know, giving up a first-round pick for, you know, Cody Franz and a Santarelli, giving up a first-round pick for Paul Gostad. All right, those, those deals don't stand out as his best. But when it comes to off-season trades, holy shit, the guy's good. So, again, Montreal's going to pay... Weber, all that money, and again, as much as I love Shea Weber, he's one of my favorite players in the league, he's about to begin the decline of his career. You know, I, I said it about Parisi yesterday, they're the same age, uh, I think actually you know, my Weber's a year younger, but, you know, Weber's got about two or three really good years where he'll be, you know, top five in the Norris balloting. He's due for a Norris trophy, by the way. I know they gave uh, Drew Doughty a Norris because he was due, so, you know, maybe he could become the, the next Montreal Canadiens defenseman and win a Norris trophy, but... You know, I think he's. I think he'll, he'll be okay. You know, in terms of the media in Montreal, I know it's a little bit different than playing in Nashville, um, but you know, I, I think he'll be he'll be fine with that. I just think you know when his game starts to go down, and he's still gonna have, you know, six, seven, eight years left on his contract. It's like, what did we do? And again, Subban's still only 27. His contract's up when he's 33. I think he's going to fit in very nicely in Nashville. I think Poyle got a, a hell of a player here. And again, I'm not knocking um, Weber. I just think his decline is going to be in. And that's not going to be pretty, you know, when they're paying that kind of money in that market to that player who, you know. It's just weird. I mean, you know, Weber has been with that organization for 13 years. He spent his entire adult life with uh, the Predators organization, really came in and was owned, you know, with Nashville. And now it's like, oh. It's on to Montreal, but hey, what are you gonna do? It's it's hockey, and the, and actually this kind of I was talking to my dad today about you know offer sheets and everything. And obviously you remember the offer sheet that Philly gave Weber. That's now his current contract. The big thing was he want they didn't put a no trade clause in, and Nashville's gonna put it in, but because it has to be the exact contract given, so Nashville kind of lucked out. I mean, you know I, I even said a couple even I think today I mentioned a Taylor Hall for Shea Weber straight up. This might be a better deal than that. I mean, as good as Hall is, you know, you don't lose a whole lot of defense. And you still get Roman Yossi signed for dirt cheap for the next four years. So, very, very, very good deal for uh, for Nashville. Not a great. And, you know, Weber could win an Irish Trophy next year in Montreal. But what he's owed for the next decade, eh. Anyway, that's all I got in this episode of The Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.